Good morning on this beautiful Sunday morning. Just a review of the weekend's football. I know Arsenal didn't take part. But of course, that fantastic win against Wolves. Why do they say when Foden scored against Everton, the best teams always leave it to the end or can leave it to the end and, and, and grab them late winners? So I do believe Arsenal... I said... Wolves was the litmus test at home after winning there. And then, you know, we won our next game. And then we could have easily slipped up in that game. You know, but we didn't. We come back. And <laughs> Lacazette shot might not have been going in. I don't know if Saka would have got there. But it went in the net. And that's all that matters. And we won 2-1. And Nicola Pepe's influence on the game. After having a child at 3 in the morning. Shows his commitment. I think that should be taken into consideration. He is Arsenal's most natural finisher at the football club. I do believe. Still. At this present moment in time. Um, talking about next season. And following. William Saliba. Marseille have tried buying him. Interest from Real Madrid. We're going to try and uh, tie him down to a long-term contract. I think, you know, if we are going to go into the Champions League, which is looking likely uh, at this moment in time, think, you know, things can change in football. But I do believe Arsenal can get it. Uh, we're going to need William Saliba. What if Ben White gets injured? What if Gabriel gets injured? What if we go down to 10 men and we need an extra centre-back? Instead of bringing Rob Holden on, we bring on William Saliba instead. Who is that much better? He, well, he's a lot better. Um, he's world-class. If Real Madrid are interested in sniffing around him, mate, he's, he's, he's top, top draw. Um, <clears throat> I actually think he will dislodge the partnership of White and Gabriel. I, I think he, I think he'll get in the first team. I do. I think he he, impre he, he he were impressing the game so much that he's starting in um, when he gets a chance that he will take his chance. And I don't think Arteta will have a choice. He, he will have to play him in the first thing. But And he's an Arsenal fan. And I think he'd just be happy to be coming back to the club that he loves. He supported as a child. And to be part of this core. We need him. We need play like to buy William Saliba now would probably cost you fifty or sixty million on his performances for Marseille this season, yeah? We've got him for twenty seven million. A snip. A snip, mate. He's worth treble that now. Double. Double at least. Yeah. He's been likened to a young Virgil van Dyke. If he's anything like Virgil van Dyke, we have got one hell of a defender on our hands. Anyway, um, Chelsea in the mud. Roman Abramovich has given custodians of a charity the keys to Chelsea. Who's behind this charity? Well, Roman Abramovich, maybe? Yeah, under an alias or this or that. If Chelsea got on a spending spree in the summer, do you think a charity could afford that? I don't think so. Um, look, I don't want to see Chelsea go out of business. But I fucking hate Chelsea. And I would not shed a tear if they struggle for money. Um, at all. And and, and 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 demise down the league. Yeah, it become a premise. You know, stay in existence and all that. But I would not shed a tear for their cocky fans. You wanted a Russian owner. You were happy with his money when he was buying you Champions Leagues and Super Cups and World Club Championship. You are happy and all that. But, yeah, remember his country have just invaded a sovereign nation, an unprovoked attack. And his money, he's an oligarch, remember. Remember his money, his dirty money, is what pays for your players. Yeah, it's dirty Russian money. So, you know, what you do, off, I'd hate to be, I wouldn't like to be a Chelsea fan right now because you don't know where your club's going to end up at. 
You could go out of business. They could go out of business. I think if the British government have anything to do with it, they've got to have some sort of empathy for the Chelsea fans here. Because if this was an Arsenal shoes, I'd be, I'd be petrified. But I think Abramovich has been clever putting it in the hands of a charity. But I, th I think Chelsea, this could affect Chelsea on the pitch as well. They're not having the greatest of seasons in the Premier League. They're miles behind in the title race, almost 20 points behind Man City. Um, I honestly think, you know what someone said, if Arsenal bottle getting in the top four would be the biggest bottle job of all time. Nah, mate. It, the biggest bottle jobs in the Premier League are Manchester United. They're the bottle jobs, mate. They're the, we've signed Varane, we've signed Sancho, we've got Ronaldo. We're going to challenge for the league this season. Yeah, they can't even fucking beat Watford at home, mate. Come on. You can play nice football and all that, mate. If you don't put a ball in the net, you don't win games. We only beat Watford at home 1-0, and that was a struggle. You know, it's not easy to beat. I know they got thumped by Palace in the week at home. It's a different storage at Vicky Droid. They struggle at home. But away from home, they, 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 can, they can surprise teams. And that was a massive boost. I know Tottenham won yesterday, but for me, Tottenham are out of it. Um, I just they're just not consistent enough where Arsenal are. Um, like I said, I, I wanted to see five wins on the trot from Arsenal minimum. Uh, our next game is Watford, funny enough, away at Vicarage Road. You know, so Watford will be on the up. Ismail Saar, what a player he is. It causes problems, but I see us dispatching Watford. Um, not comfortably, but I, I see us winning that. But I think Pepe, again, will have a part play. I could see him scoring, actually. Emil Smith Rowe will hopefully be back. We'll have a full squad again. Fit. Uh, and then we host Leicester. Uh, very up and down team, but they can't defend set pieces. So let's just try and get as many corners as possible. <laughs> and get get stuck into them. Uh, they're very beatable this season. And then Villa away, tougher test, but they're again another in, very inconsistent team. I think Coutinho makes them tick. You know, you've got to try and stop him. And you know, we've been good at stopping teams with with players like, like Bernardo Silva and. You know, we've been good recently at stopping teams with, with, with good playmakers like that. So we'll see what happens. You know, I mean, there's going to be ups, there's going to be downs. You know, we've got Liverpool at home. No one's expecting Arsenal to take anything from that game. We might beat them. We might end up with a draw. Anything from that game at, at home to Liverpool is a Bobby bonus for me. Away to Chelsea. I really want to see us go for it because I want us. I want to see how far the Arsenal teams progressed, and I want to go toe to toe with Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, in front of their fans, and let's all see how far we have progressed. If they turn us over, they turn us over, but at least we give it a go. But I actually think we will cause Chelsea problems, a lot of problems, and um, yeah, they got mean ass defence, but they're an old defence. And they've got some youngsters coming running at them, like Martinelli and Saka, Smith Rowe, Oldergaard. You know, Partey's looking like a different player. Again, since the new year, African nations, he's just a dynamic in that midfield. And um, with their Lukaku problems, they don't really have, you know, they're, they're, I don't know, Chelsea. I think they're in a false position, quite frankly. If they hadn't started the league so well, I don't think they'd be in the top four, quite frankly. Tuchel's job may, may have been in threat, but they're still in the Champions League. They're not going to win the Champions League this season. They're not good enough. Um, that's, the top, that's the roundup from the Premier League this week. Good news about Saliba. And it just shows his talent. If Real Madrid won him. You know, and uh, but he's the sort of world class young defender 
French under-21 captain, will probably walk into the French national squad in the next couple of years, um, especially if he starts performing for Arsenal in the Champions League, say. I can't wait. It's exciting. So I said, if we're going to be in the Champions League, we need world-class on the pitch and world-class on the bench. If you're going to if you're going to do anything in the Champions League, you need world class on the pitch and world class off the pitch. That is the only way Arsenal are going to do anything in that elite competition that we've been out of now for six years. So this will be the best opportunity. We've got three games in hand on United, and they've only got a two point lead on us. If we were to win two of them, or 